All right, everyone, we're doing our handstand prep, and now we want to try to get your hips above your shoulders. We want to try to invert your body a little bit more to increase the uh, stress that we put on the shoulders so that they can get ready for supporting your body weight. I'm going to need to take these off. Uh, this one is the inchworm. So you're probably going to lose me in the frame here, but it'll save me a lot of time not redoing the camera. Sorry. Um, I'm starting standing up and then I just bend over, try to touch my toes. If you're really stiff and you only get to here, that's totally fine. You just lean out until your hands get down on the ground. Okay. Now from here, I'm trying to let my heels sink down and I'm trying to tuck my hips and keep those abdominal muscles on. Now, I can just hold out here if I wanted to, but we're doing an inchworm, so I'm going to walk my hands out, try to keep my heels kind of sinking. Oh, yeah, now I feel my abs and let myself come out into a push-up position. Then from there, I just keep my legs straight, take baby steps up, and I'm back. Okay, so you can repeat that. I usually give that to people uh, six reps for one set and I make them go really, really slow. You gotta make sure you feel your abdominals, gotta make sure your hands stay flat and gotta make sure you're trying to stretch out those heels. Um, that's how you ensure that you get the position and how you build, ensure that you're building the mobility that you need. Um, again, that's a great one. Inverting yourself puts more stress on the shoulders. Try to keep your neck relaxed. I've had some people mess up their necks on this one. Uh, it seems like it's not much, but it's it does put a lot of stress onto those upper trap shoulder and neck muscles. So they can be sensitive. They've proven to be sensitive in the past. So keep that in mind. Try to keep everything relaxed and just make sure you go through your checklist. Find and feel the abs. Hands stay flat and I'm getting a good heel stretch.